Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're into mechanical design, 3D modeling, or open source CAD tools, today's video is just for you. We're diving into the key differences between FreeCAD 1.0 and the new 1.0. One update, especially from a mechanical engineer's point of view. Let's jump right in. Starting with the basics FreeCAD 1.0. One might sound like a small update, but for mechanical designers, it brings a lot of polish where it matters most. One of the first things you'll notice is improved stability. In 1.0, complex operations like Boolean cuts or union in the part and part design workbenches would sometimes crash unexpectedly. In 1.01, those issues are significantly reduced. You can now work with larger assemblies and more complex geometries without constant saving anxiety. Another area that's been refined is the sketching experience. If you often use constraints, especially with circular or symmetric features, you'll notice that solving time is faster, and the sketch solver doesn't freeze or lag like before. Also, icons for constraints scale better now, so when you zoom in or out, they remain readable without cluttering your workspace. Local coordinate systems, which are essential when working with advanced assemblies or when aligning imported parts, now behave more predictably. LC's placement and linking between parts in the Assembly 3 module are more reliable and some bugs that affected position accuracy have been resolved. UI improvements, though subtle, help speed up modeling. Tooltips are now more descriptive, especially when working with constraints, pads, pockets, and mirrored features. The property panels are better organized, reducing the need to hunt through dropdowns or data tabs. File handling has also been upgraded. FreeCAD 1.0 one improves how it deals with imported STEP and IHA's files. These are common formats when collaborating with teams using SOLIDWORKS, KAISA, or other proprietary CAD software. Import errors and translation mismatches are less frequent now, which saves a lot of cleanup time. That said, it's not a perfect release. The core version still doesn't ship with a built-in assembly workbench, so you'll still need to install a 2 Plus or Assembly 3 manually for more complex mechanical projects. And for simulation, the built-in FEM workbench remains limited unless you install extra solvers and tweak mesh settings. So, should you upgrade? Absolutely. FreeCAD 1.0. One might not be packed with flashy new tools. But if you're redoing mechanical work, especially with parametric design and part assemblies, this version is noticeably more stable, faster, and smoother to use. Thanks for watching. If this helped you out, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more CAD content and drop a comment sharing your favorite feature or workflow in FreeCAD. See you in the next one.